Coach, you enter your second season here in Fayette. Talk a little bit about how the transition has been from year one to year two and what kind of differences you've seen within your team. Well, obviously, when we've had a year to get settled in and kind of have our bearing straight, it's been much more advantageous for us as a staff. Uh, we commented um, this summer when we were getting things worked on, installation schedules and kind of planning ahead and, and ordering and just budgeting, we were like, well, this year, last time, we weren't even moving to our office yet. So it was a significant advantage for us. Um, pretty excited about the season ahead, and uh, obviously the strides we were able to make last year, I think, was a step in the right direction. The team has started practice, and you returned four starters from last year. First, talk a little bit about those returning starters, and just some of your key returning players from last year's squad. Well, I think the most, this, the most significant thing is that we returned four of our top six scorers, three of our top four rebounders. Uh, we brought in a few additional pieces uh, uh, to help us there. But of those returners, obviously, Tawanda Sutton's a big piece for us. Um, Tawanda signed with Houston out of junior college and, and found their way to Fayette, thankfully. Um, it's a second team all conference player just by playing second semester. We're excited about her return. Uh, Samantha Gay Nicole Curls is back. Um, had some really brilliant games uh, at times. Consistency needs to improve, but uh, uh, we expect good things from her. Um, we also had some freshmen, Ky freshman Kyra Williams and uh, Audrey Patton saw some time last year. Um, so that, the, that impact would be big. And then Nakia Robinson, who would be a junior, uh, was our leading scorer in conference play. So we've got some pieces there that we're pretty excited about um, returning. Uh, and you add that in with the new pieces, and uh, we feel like uh, we've got a chance to get pretty special. Before turning our attention to, the, to your new players, you do lose Sam Younger from last season, who ranks as one of the top all-time leading scorers in Central Methodist women's basketball history. How do you hope to fill her void? Well, you know, we're going to have to pick up some, we're going to have to pick up some scoring from somewhere. Uh, I think Raylan Nuss, who we just didn't mention returning players, the four-year start, will be a four-year starter for us here, going back to the Brooks' days, and um, I think that Raylan has more additional points in her. I think that Curls can step up her scoring. Um, Tawanda can, can step up her scoring. I also think that uh, although we'll lose some scoring, I think we'll pick up some athleticism around the perimeter, as well as a, uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, better defensive presence from that. Uh, the preseason workouts have gone well with that, so I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to absorb that loss. But it is a big loss, and Kat Kyle um, was a big loss for us because she played a lot of games. And one of the biggest strengths for us last year, I think, the reason we were able, able to be successful and, and probably overachieve to a certain extent is that um, we had a lot of players, Alexa Fox, Sarah Foster, Kat Kyle, Sammy Dunger, that played a lot of games in this league. And when you played a lot of games, um, that, Eventually, that experience and going going to here and going to there and playing on the road and playing against these teams adds up. So I think that's something else to concern us a lot to replace. I think we're better, but the experience factor is certainly uh, lacking. You brought in a number of new players. Talk a little bit about them, their high school careers, and how you expect them to contribute to your varsity team this season. Sure. Well, one thing I will say is that um, we're better across the board from, from varsity all the way down. We have four or five kids that we just recently met with and talked about moving them down as freshmen to play junior varsity for us, um, and they would have started or played significant minutes for us on varsity last year. It's a good problem to have. They, Fortunately for us, they've bought into it and understand that it's best for us to get them some minutes and get them playing time. It's playing two or three minutes a game here or there is not going to allow us to really see how they can blossom and develop. Playing that full junior varsity schedule will be advantageous, so we're excited about that. But uh, We've got a few really nice pieces that we're excited about. Taylor Corneliusen, is a freshman a big inside that's uh, we're going to rely on early um, and we think that uh, her size and inside will be beneficial uh, good hands great feet um, wants to learn so we be some growing pains um, Brittany Joseph is a transfer um, and I think that uh, she will have an impact uh, right away on both ends of the floor great athlete that can play multiple positions guard most multiple position Jasmine Poteet's a transfer um, out of Grayson College in Texas, out of Chicago. I coached against her in junior college, and she was a pain to her in, so we decided we can't beat her, join her. And uh, we picked her up. She has a chance to be the best defender in our league. Uh, Brooke Paul Sell is a freshman uh, out of Ozark, Missouri, um, that has a chance to be real special as a freshman point guard. And uh, there's lots of other ones that, that I can't even begin to scratch the sur surface of mentioning them all because. Um, our coaching staff, uh, Coach Henry is no longer with us, and Coach Bergen and Coach Ray and Coach Young have done a great job of going out and identifying a ton of talent. And like I said, there's no doubt that uh, we're, we're more athletic, uh, higher basketball IQ, and, and better across the board. Looking at your coaching staff, as you just mentioned, you've had some turnover, 
be pr promoted Jeanette Virgin from a GA to a full-time assistant. Talk a little bit about her progression, her step up, and some of the other changes you've had on your staff. Sure. When when you um, when you take over a program, you usually want to do it your own way. And uh, when I entered into the job, I was like, I want my own people. And they're like, no, you got to keep the GA. And I was like, ah. And uh, I was really excited when I met Jeanette because we clicked right away. And uh, so not only was um, was it great that she was here to help kind of tie the uh, you know tie the two pro the, the two years together, the coaching staff together. I was able to learn a lot from her uh, about the way things were done, the way things need to be done differently, the way things were done right that worked. And um, it was a great blessing that she decided to want to stay on. Um, she's got a very, very bright future, so we're going to try to hang on to her as long as we can. Uh, very thorough, very detailed, very passionate. Um, kind of opposite of me when it comes to a lot of things from a, from a work standpoint also, which balances it out nicely in the office. We hate to lose Coach Henry, but obviously in this business, everybody wants to uh, continue to move up the ranks, so that was good for him as well. And he'll also continue to be a valuable resource for us coaching the junior college in Texas. Um, we brought in uh, Nicole, she goes by Coley uh, Trowick, uh, out of New Jersey. Um, great uh, passion, um, brings us some East Coast ties that would be uh, beneficial for us from recruiting the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, New York area. Um, does an exceptional job of working with our, our guards and um, we're really lucky to have her as well. We had some quality applicants but uh, we were able to uh, land her and I think that she also will be a great addition. And Coach Greg Ray and Dustin Young are, are some of the best, uh, you know, the, if we had to pay them, we couldn't afford it. So we're pretty fortunate that they're here doing what they're doing. So uh, um, I'm just super blessed to have one of the best staffs in the country. You opened your season on October 29th with an exhibition at Missouri SAT before having another exhibition on November 2nd at Southern Illinois. You'll open your regular season at home on November 6th against Stevens College with a tip off set for 5 p.m. within inside Bucket Fieldhouse. Talk a little bit about your early schedule and what you hope to gain from your team as you progress into conference play. Well, I really, last year I learned a lot about the schedule I inherited, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. And um, one of the things we're excited about this schedule that we set up was that we had a chance to be tested early, uh, get some of the uh, oh shoot moments out of the way before um, the games start to count, per se. Um, so that exhibition, Missouri s and will be a great opportunity to go up against a friendly, uh, strong Division II team that goes to the tournament every year. And then um, playing at Southern Illinois for the Missouri Valley Conference is a great opportunity for our ladies. Um, we have a significant number of, of our players that come to us after signing Division I or having played Division I. So, you know, they got a little bit chip on the shoulder and think they still belong there. And so that's awesome for us to get that opportunity to, to learn um, about ourselves and, and to have those opportunities to go on the road. And, and also, too, it's a, it's a guaranteed game for us, which is beneficial for our program. It allows us to do some things that we want to do special. Um, and then, of course, we open up with Stevens, which is a uh, Division I, uh, NAI Division I opponent um, out of the neighboring conference in the AMC. So that would be a great way to, to get the regular season started um, at uh, home. So I like the way our schedule works out, both from an exhibition as well as a regular season standpoint. We're going to be challenged uh, um, in certain ways, but we also have scheduled ourselves some opportunities where if we come out and we work hard and we gel and we take care of business, we can be successful in the right spots. You ended last season by hosting a Heart of America Athletic Conference tournament game in the quarterfinal round. How do you expect to exceed those expectations this year? Because they will be pretty high with four returning starters and a number of talented incoming players. Yeah, I think that, you know, we were picked to finish ninth last year, just a few votes ahead of finishing tenth. Um, and well, we finished the game and a half out of first place and really were a block out away from going to the national tournament, which we overachieved, but that really would have been overachieving. So hosting that conference game was big for us. It was a great opportunity for our, all these returners to learn a lot. Um, when you looked at it, Graceland, had um, four or five ladies that had played multiple conference tournament games and ours had played zero. Um, it was definitely a learning experience and you could definitely tell which team had played uh, in the postseason. Um, we didn't play very well and I think that that's something from a coaching standpoint we can use as motivation and I don't think that our returners are going to soon forget that uh, we didn't come out and play our best and Graceland played really well too. Um, but that playoff experience is big. Now we have one game that each of our ladies can put on their tally as playing in the playoff. I think that the expectations, I think that we'll be, you know, picked to finish in the top half of the league and the difference now will be, just like I talk with Dan a lot with women's soccer, all of a sudden now things have changed and there's a target on your back and how we will handle um, 
having a target on our back as opposed to really not getting paid attention to like happened for years will be uh, significant for us how we handle that. If we can handle like a women's soccer has, we'll be just fine. This is regular season open. It's a little bit more than a month. The best of luck to you, and we look forward to following you all season inside Pocket. You bet. Thanks.